We also have full leisure facilities, so thank you for your inquiry. What is it now, Shuey? Mrs. Chance, this is the last straw. It can't be possible. I'm sure I ordered three boxes of cheese straws. Ah, but that wasn't taking into account an unexpected last-minute booking, was it? Last-minute booking? Whom from? From an old and close friend of yours. Well, perhaps no longer a friend. To whom are you referring? Mr. Adam Chance. Adam? My estranged husband, who I haven't seen for several years, is coming here to the Crossroads Motel tonight, soon. Indeed. Now, what's he doing here in King's Oak? That's what I'd like to know. That's just what I'd like to know, Shuey. That's just what I'd like to know. I will like clear up the mess left by Jill's broken cheese straw, settle back and enjoy an A to Z of some of ATV's finest moments. <laughs> Stand by for action. <laughs> We're about to launch Stingray. Annabelle. If you think I'm going to get out of my bath to get you a uh, cup uh, uh. of... Don't be unfriendly now. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hello? Yes, long distance. Mm -hmm. Huh? No, this is not Mr. Schwartz. You got the wrong room, you. Coming. One second. One second. <laughs> Yeah, right. What is it? Mr. Wilde? That's me. Oh. Good Hamlet, cast thy knighted color off. Do not forever with thy veiled lid seek for thy noble father in the dust. Thou knowst is common. All that lives must die. Aye, madam, it is common. Will it be? Why seems it so particular with thee? Seems, madam. Nay, it is. I know not seems. <laughs> Gods and devils, authority melts from me. Of late, when I cried ho like boys unto a muss, kings would start forth and cry your will. Have you no ears? If you prick us, do we not bleed? Tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? Some are born great, some achieve greatness. And some have great mistrust upon them. It is better playing with a lion's wealth than with an old one dying. The villainy you teach me, I will execute. And it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. Who are you? Jean-Baptiste Crayon de la Fort, Frenchman, swordsman, dealer in all types of goods, and captain of the good ship, Belfort. To begin with, my beauty, I'm not a captain. And to end with, if you're looking for a thirst, you need look no further. I'm not dry. By the way, you didn't tell me your name. Schulman. Captain Schulman of the Federal Police Security Branch. I was in Germany. I'm uh, going back to my hotel. I... 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 You... You! Ah. Hmm? Oh, I'd better be going. Got a long journey. Just to keep my new masters waiting. I'll be to say. Alan Taylor is by no means the only irreverent and controversial figure to appear regularly for ATV. Up in the Midlands, there's a gentleman called Douglas Wolfe. You may have read his weekly articles in a Sunday paper. Many people hate him, many people love him. But there are very few who can ignore him. 
You with your face slapping of waiters. Slapping waiters' faces all over the place. Who do I Irritating slap? people and getting wine thrown over you here in London. But how incident silly. after incident ever since you've been married to him. It's just look, wrecked his career. But we do good with our money. And that's more than that sanctity. As I bet. Look, I'd let's, like leave, let's leave all these does. people out of it. He isn't here to answer back, and I think it's unfair. Thank but God I do say... But I do know he's, he, he's damn well looking in. Have you got a hand to spare? Because I would I've quite like since, to hold listen, it. Listen, I've known him since I was 12. The you little have. So his mother and father, I think, would turn in their grave. I want to kiss you. What for? Just because. It's a pity to say goodnight. Because I never saw stars so bright. But if you gotta go, you gotta go, give me a good night kiss. It's a pity to say farewell, because the man in the moon won't tell. But if you gotta go home, you gotta go home, give me a good night kiss. Now how's about another night? Just you and me. this dance very fast. Sure. I want you to see how I slowed down. Great. Give me an introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, Liberace. Take off your hat in my presence. Sorry, sir. You were talking class. Yes. You refused to admit it. I wasn't, sir. You know who was? Yes, sir. Who was it? I know it's been done to death, but it still catches the heart. Ah, but it never sounds as well as when you play it. Not on this piano, you can't get a sweep.
I'm a fool. You will take six. You take the ace out and hold it. Hold it face down like that. You've got the ace. Just have another look. Make sure. See? Yes, there it Grab is. it. Look. And I'll take the three like that. And I'll put the two over there. Now, what have I got? Uh, the three. What have you got? The ace. I've got the ace. <laughs> How'd you do it? Oh! Easy. Meg, I believe you run a motel. That must keep you pretty busy. Oh, my goodness, it does. Especially when business is like it is the next few weeks. We're booked absolutely solid. And you still find time to do shopping in the town? Well, I've got to, you see, because I've only got a teenage daughter helping me. My schoolboy son isn't lost of use. But I've got a special do coming up, a wedding, and I'm looking for champagne and lobsters for it. So, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd better get on. Certainly, I won't keep you. <coughs> what on earth's that? Well, come on, girl. The what lady on table seven, she's screaming her head off. But why? This. Oh, no. Who's with her? My mum is. i better go through. Uh, oh, Mrs. Mortimer, before you go, I'd just like to say something. These are dead spiders. They didn't get there of their own accord. They've been placed there. Placed there deliberately. That's another day, Arthur. Oh, I'm whacked. You know, what are you doing this job? Is go on, go to bed. Get up and come to work. Come on. Oh, you look tired. Do you want I should make you some cocoa? Oh, I wouldn't find out. More tea, Mrs. Gladstone? Uh, no. Thank you, Edward Lassie. Mr. Gladstone? Yeah, thank you. No. I can never remember. One lump or two. Chug of brandy. Brandy. Champagne with brandy is my favorite drink. Do you like it? Yes, I like it very much. You sit down, Captain Hardy. You'll have some wine. Oh, thank you. Ask him, perhaps you would be kind enough to pull yourself together sufficiently to get me a cup of wine. And don't bite at the goat. Landlady there reverses Christ's miracle and turns the wine into water. Madame's wine. It's always excellent. Red stripe? Huh. Red stripe. Beer, beer. Ah, thank you, Nico. Whiskey, vodka, drambouille. Tia Maria, Quattro, Grand Marnier. And ale! We shall swim in ale from this play only. Sir, you'll make yourself sick. Gaston, écoutez. Monsieur, Mademoiselle demande que vous mélangez trois parties de rhum avec une partie de vermouth et en sous-son d'angusture, mélangez avec beaucoup de glace. <laughs> I wish I could speak French. Bonjour, les enfants. Ça va, les enfants? Très bien. Maintenant, regardez. Monsieur le Président, je vous assure que votre joie ne peut égaler le plaisir que j'éprouve à me trouver une fois de plus dans votre chambre. Merci. Très bien. Maintenant, regardez. Ah, monsieur Tupraillet Il n'est pas là. Ah, quel dommage. Il faut absolument que je lui parle. C'est une question de l'argent. Est-ce qu'il sera là demain Je pense que non. Très bien. Maintenant, regardez. Uh, for trottoir. Eggs on the pavement. Oh, but you understood, of course. Chacun a son goût. What? Très bien. Entrez. You s'appel McGill, mademoiselle. Vous pensez qu'il a des nouvelles, Stéphane? Je ne sais pas. Mais ce n'est pas une bonne idée. Faites le monter, s'il vous plaît. Encore une fois. Je ne le connais pas. Mais tu connais Birce Quelles sont tes relations avec Birce Fou le camp. Encore une fois. Encore une fois. Je suis le rendu commerce de Sioux. Parfait. Et voilà, une belle famille. Quatre personnes. Number, please. I haven't got a number. No number, no call. Okay, now, I'll tell you what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to pick an apple for me. And have number two, please. Two, two. Number three. Four. Four. And you've got yourself a prize pippin. That's a fiver coming your way. Congratulations. Five? Six. Five. Six. Five. Six. Five. Six. Five. Six. Five. Number six, please. Five. Six. Five. Two. Four. Six. Five. Number six, please. Two. Four. Six. That's you. Six. You are six. Name an apple leaving out, if you will. Number six. What you desire? Number one. I'll take you. It's all go here at Emergency Ward 10. The girl never gets a minute to herself, never a minute's peace. Nurse! Oh, I'm coming. You see what I mean? Some people, really. Thanks, so. 
Thank you, Dr. Wilson. I think maybe we should try him on the cerebrometabolic regulator, sir. What on earth is that? Nurse, stop your chattering. Just tell them that Emergency War 10 will be shown on this channel soon. Don't miss it. <laughs>